fold your cord in half equally. Take the two ends around the back of your dowel, over the top, and then through that loop and pull it all the way down. This is a lark's head knot and attach all your cords with this knot. The only exception being this cord is eight meters long with this side being six meters and this side being two. That's because this cord is gonna be going back and forth and back and forth many times, which is why it needs to be longer. Using this thin dowel, take the left cord in front of the dowel around the back of the dowel and then pull it forward and it's going to come forward through the loop that you've created. You're going to keep pulling that cord until it's wrapped around the dowel. Take the same cord again over the top of the dowel, around the back and through the loop. And then pull it snug to the other one. That's your first double half hitch knot. Take the next cord over and do the same thing over the dowel, around the back, through the opening. Always do that twice with each cord. So over the dowel, around the back, and through the opening. Here's a link to another video to show you how to do this knot. Keep repeating until you're all the way to the other side. Take the left cord, it's the one that's longer than any other cord, and we're gonna use it to wrap the other cords around. So take the next cord over, take it over that first cord, around the back, and through the opening. This is still the double half hitch knot. And do another knot with the same cord. And now go to the next cord. and do that all the way across. Do the double half hitch knot in the opposite direction to the other side. In the other direction now, you can make any kind of pattern you like with your double half hitch. The direction you hold your cord is the direction the line will go. So first, I'm going to hold it more in the downward direction. And you can see my line is coming out. Now I'm going to move my cord upward and transition in the other direction. It's when you tighten the knot that you want to hold the cord in the direction you want to go. I'm just going to keep going across, changing the angle of that cord to give my line an organic look. When you're going the other way, just hold the cord the direction you want to go. Take the next cord over, go over the top, around the back, and through the opening. I didn't explain this well the first time I did this. Always twice with each cord. Over the top, around the back, and through the opening. Make whatever shape you like on the way back. I go back and forth a couple more times. Take another dowel and make double half hitches on it. Starting from the left, do another row of double half hitches. Now continue with doing organic shapes back and forth for four more rows.
With another dowel, do another double half hitch row. Go from right to left and do another row of double half hitches. And go from the left to the right one more time. Turn the piece around and on the back side we want to glue at each of these little wooden dowels and then we're going to cut the ends off. Remove the dowel from the macrame. Unfurl the cords. Cut the ends of the loops. Cut the other side at the same length. Comb out the fringe. I'm using a needle and some thinner cord to tie this piece to a piece of driftwood or you could use a regular dowel. I then just pull the knot to the back to hide it.